Hello all, welcome to part 34 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to practically demonstrate how to install and configure Java for rest assured API automation. So let's get started. So in order to automate the APIs, okay, in order to automate the API testing, we need to use something known as rest assured, okay? To use this rest assured for automating this API testing, we have to first install and configure Java in our machines. We have to download, install, and configure Java in our machines. So now I'll show you how to download and install Java JDK latest version in our machine. We have to download the latest version of J JDK. Okay, latest uh, version of JDK, LTS version. And after that, how to configure that Java in our environment variables of our Windows machine. Okay, so I'm only talking about Windows machine here. Fine, let me practically show you this. If you already have the idea of how to install and configure Java in your Windows machine, then you can skip this video, guys. Okay, so this is only for the people who are who doesn't have any knowledge on Java and uh, they don't know how to install and configure Java in their machines. Because without this Java, we cannot automate API testing using rest assured automation. Okay, so let's get started with this downloading and installing of Java JDK latest version now. Okay, so now let me show you how to download. For downloading, guys, I'll open this uh, Chrome browser and search for download Java JDK. But which version of Java JDK I want to download? So before going to download this Java JDK, let's find out what are the versions of Java, okay? Versions of Java, okay? Let's find out what are the different versions of Java. We generally get this Wikipedia page here, Java version history kind of page. Let's go through that page once and see what are the different versions of Java available in the market. So you see in the 1995 year itself, the Java got released into the market. The first version of Java uh, JDK beta got released into the market later in latest version, uh, later years, okay, 1996, 1997, and also on Java 1.0 to 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and also on. And uh, in March 2014, Java SC8, uh, uh, Java SC8 LTS version. You see, it's not a normal version. Whatever this uh, pink color boxes are there, they are not LTS, okay? But this yellow color box is an LTS, long-term support. That means still people are using this Java 8, guys, okay? People are not using any of these versions in these machines, okay? So if, if you go to any machine uh, or find someone who has installed Java in their machines, if you find that, no one will be installing any of these pink color versions because they are not long-term support. But coming to the Java SC8, it is a LTS version. LTS means long-term support. So till when it is having the support till December 2030, it's still 2022. And if you have installed Java SC8 LTS version in your machine, you can use this uh, Java version without any problem. Even though the latest versions are still there, you can still stick to Java 8 because they are supporting you. They are giving you, updating you, okay? All the updates will come to Java and you can still use it till the year 2030. There is no problem in that. But still, I will not pick this one for now. Okay. There are people who are using Java 8. Okay. They are using Java 8 because it has long term support. Coming to 9 and 10. So from here onwards, if you see guys, okay, after March 2014, September 2017. Okay. Then March 2018. Then September 2018. March 2019, September, almost from uh, AC9 version, it seems, okay? Java AC9 version onwards, you see September, March, September, March, okay? Just six months gap. For every six months, okay, for every six months, they have released the new Java version into the market. Most of the versions are non-LTS versions and few versions are LTS versions. For example, here, Java AC17 is a, LTS version, long-term support version, which has a support till September 2029, okay? Okay, or later they are saying, they are not confirming the date. They are going to support this version even 
further also okay there is java sc 11 which has support till 2026 but uh, java sc 17 which is the latest version of lts okay long term support category and which is having the support till 2029 that is uh, seven more years or later also they are not confirming the date and soon in september 2023 uh, okay this is 2022 in september now that means in a year you are going to get this java sc 21 version which is going to be LDS and they are going to support it till 2031 for now, but to, tomorrow the things may change. They may change it to more, more number of years, okay? So for now, after seeing this version history of Java, I'll generally stick to Java SE 17, guys, LTS version, okay? This is the latest LTS version available and which has a support till 2029, okay? So I'll just stick to Java SE 17. So when I'm downloading Java, how will I down do download? Download Java J JDK 17, I will say, because 17 is the LTS version which has support till 2029 and later also is possible. Just click on that and in the search results, you will get Java SE 17 archive downloads from Oracle. Click on that link and you see, I am saying that they are supporting, right? The LTS means the support, uh, updates will come. How can the updates are coming? If you see this page of Java SE 17 archive downloads, the latest version we have is 4.1, okay? So initially they have released Java 17 as Java Development Kit 17, okay? Java Development Kit 17, then 17.0.1, then 17.0.2, then 17.0.3, then 17.0.3.1, then 17.0.4, okay? Then 17.0.4.1. This kind of versions will keep on coming till 2029 year or later. So, but anyhow, since we are sticking to this LTS version, Java SE 17, LTS JDK 17 version, yeah, LTS version, let's go with the latest version. At this moment, at this particular date, when I'm recording this video, it's uh, uh, August 26, 2022. At this particular point of time, I have this latest version of JDK 17 as 17.0.4.1 and it is the LTS version. I'll stick with this. And here, my machine is not a Linux machine. I'll not go with this Linux uh, uh, things I will not download any of this stuff. My machine is not a Mac machine. I will not go with this. The remaining three are the Windows machine. So I have to pick something out of these three things. Okay, three things. And in this Windows X64 installer is there. Okay, this one I will pick. Installer version. That 264 bit installer version. My machine is Windows 11 uh, and that 264 bit version. So I can go with this installer version where exe file will be downloaded, guys. Okay, directly exe file of Java will be downloaded. Let me click on this. You say directly it's getting downloaded, okay? Directly it's getting downloaded, guys, okay? J JDK 17.0.4.1, Java version is getting downloaded. This is how we have to download the Java versions, okay? So based on whatever, because at this moment, I'm downloading this version. At your time, you may not have to download this version. If uh, if if you're watching this video in the future, Java uh, September 2023, when Java AC21 LTS version got released, you may go with the Java AC21 LTS at that time, okay? You don't have to stick to the version I am downloading, okay? I'm just uh, telling you in advance because this is uh, what is the date now and uh, this is what is the latest LTS version I have at this moment, okay? So show in folder, it got downloaded in the downloads folder. So now let me install it, okay? Let me install it. Installation is very pretty simple, okay? Just double click on this JDK. Just double click on this JDK. In a while, you should get the installation wizard. Before installation wizard, some kind of dialogue like yes or no may come. Okay, I got the dialogue, guys, uh, asking me to select S. I just selected S, guys. I just selected S. Preparing to install. Welcome to the installation wizard for Java AC Development Kit 17.0.4.1. Click on Next. Okay, it's getting uh, installed at this location in my machine. Okay, you see, C program files. It's a 64-bit version. As you already know, it is a 64-bit version. So if you go to the C drive, okay, if you go to the C drive here, guys, okay, if you go to the C drive here, there are two program files folder, okay, program files x86 means 32 bit, normal program files means 64 bit, okay, 32 bit, 64 bit, okay, 32 bit, 64 bit. So since we are installing uh, the 64 bit version of, okay, 64 bit version of Java JDK 17 LTS of 17.0.4.1 uh, as per today's date, okay? The Java is getting going to be installed in this folder. C program files, since it is 64 program files. If it's not 64 program files, x86 folder, it will be 
uh, installed okay in that a java folder will be created at this moment you see if you go to c program files if you go to c program files there is no java folder okay there is no java folder guys there's no java folder so a java folder will be created in this uh, program files folder of c drive and also in that folder jdk 17.0.4.1 folder will be created okay we'll see that after installing i'll show i'll come back here and show you click on next it's very simple to install though okay you see a java folder is already created just now let the installation complete before we open up this uh, java folder here in the program files folder of the c drive okay so successfully installed there is nothing to be done okay just click on close and go to the c drive program files same java folder you see jdk 17.0.4.1 got uh, created inside that we have a bin folder and all these files are available okay so here somewhere here okay what is there so all these files are available okay java compiler is available here okay like that and so on okay a lot of uh, things are there here fine so now what we are going to do here is uh so you know you now know the directory where the java has been installed in your machine okay program files java folder okay in this folder we have this okay this path is a java home path now we have downloaded java we have installed java and we got this folders and all those stuff now we have to configure java okay what is the next step you have to configure the java using the environment variables how to configure java if you're using the latest versions of windows it's very simple guys opening the environment variables is very simple just click on the search icon in windows 11 or any other operating system just click on search and type environment that's it environment variables you can type if you want uh, variables also you can type okay sorry let me type it properly again environment variables okay then immediately best match is coming on the top for from control panel otherwise you have to go to control panel and find this option search this option guys okay windows 11 is making it simple by giving a search option where just search for environment variables you are getting this option otherwise you have to go to control panel and find this option you have to google out where exactly in control panel you have this environment variables option okay so i just made it easy by clicking on search and searching for environment variables i got the best match as added to the system environment variables from control panel select that option the moment i selected this option i got this dialog guys system properties dialog and where this advanced tab is by default selected the advanced tab is by default selected guys okay so under the advanced tab which is by default selected we have this environment variables button available here okay since we are searching for environment variables it has directly taken us to system properties advanced tab and environment variables just click on the environment variables and here okay here click on here we have user variables and system variables i'll go with the system variables the bottom part and click on the new button here here i'll name something like java underscore home and i need to paste the path of the java underscore home that is go to the c drive program files java under the jdk 17.0.4.1 folder copy till here copy this path guys and paste it here that's it say okay okay so one step is done java underscore home system variable having the path to the just now installed jdk 17.0.4.1 version has been given here and next thing is by default we will have this path variable you don't have to create this one okay you created java underscore home but in windows machine by default you'll get path and there will be some already some existing paths will be there we should not be disturbing this path while editing this path we should be a bit careful okay we should not be uh, deleting or uh, modifying anything that is already there okay but uh, our intention is to set, find this path system variable here click on edit button you'll get this kind of dialogs in the windows 10 or windows 11 machine just click on the new button here and here paste the same path whatever the path you copied till here right okay this path again paste it c program files java jdk 17.0.4.1 slash and here we have to go inside the bin folder okay till bin folder i have to give that's the difference java underscore home only up to this path whereas this uh, path variable we have to give till bin folder okay this bin folder under this slash bin if you give that and say okay 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 so inside the bin folder the java compiler and all those stuff are there it will take utilization of that okay that's it this is how we have to install and configure java for rest assured api automation okay 
So in the coming sessions, we are going to start the REST Assured API automation. If you don't know, if you're new to Java and uh, you don't know how to install and configure Java, this is the process, guys. And final step, guys, to see whether uh, the Java has been successfully installed and configured in our machine, I'll open this search icon and type CMD here, open the command prompt. And in the command prompt, okay, I'll give a command. Just remember this command, Java hyphen version, that's it. And press enter. If you are getting whatever the installed version of Java, if you are getting 17.0.4.1 version of Java, if you are getting, then you're good. Okay. Okay. So what is the command? I'll give the command also here. Uh, Java hyphen version in the command prompt. Okay. In command prompt. Command prompt of Windows. Okay. Command prompt you have to type and see whether you are getting the version of the Java. Okay. That you have installed. So this is how we have to install and configure Java for the upcoming rest assured API automation. These are the steps guys. Okay. So uh, in the next session, I'll, I'll show you how to install and launch Eclipse IDE for rest assured API automation. Okay. Not only Java is enough, but also we need rest assured. Uh, sorry. We need Eclipse IDE. Without Eclipse IDE, we cannot write the Java programs as an editor. I'll explain more about this Eclipse IDE, why it is required and why it need to be installed after Java. All those stuff I'll explain in the next session. But uh, for now, we are done. Okay. I successfully showed you how to practically, uh, practically uh, showed you how to install and configure Java for uh, upcoming rest assured automation things. Okay. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.